Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hi, how you doing today? I'm your host, Rich. Here we have Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the Chief Investment Officer of Vox Royalty, Spencer Cole. How are you doing today, Spencer? I'm fantastic, Rich. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Love having you on the show. And I've got some questions for you. But before we get into those questions, why don't you just remind our listeners a little bit about Vox Royalties and how you guys have performed over the last year? Absolutely, Rich. So Vox, uh, uh, Vox Royalty is a precious metals focused, high growth mining royalty investment company. Um, and we were established eight years ago, uh, specifically for inflationary uh, markets such as we find ourselves in today. And in the last 12 months, Vox was the best performing, uh, best performing royalty company on all stock exchanges. So that's across our entire $70 billion industry. Vox was the top performing stock last year. Congratulations on all your success. This is why we love to do these interviews to identify companies that are undervalued, underappreciated, and underexposed. I know you guys have had some big news. What was the significance of the operator update that Vox released earlier this week? Sure. So we announced um, to the market earlier this week, Rich, that uh, some up key updates from five of our um, exciting royalty properties. Um, so Listeners who aren't that familiar with the royalty model, um, you know, may be surprised to hear every month uh, our shareholders are just gifted with free news flow and free developments from the companies that are operating our royalty properties. So in the last month, um, five of our key properties have been advancing rapidly forward towards construction and production. Um, one of the properties, the Bulong Gold Mine in Western Australia, they just received this, um, some of their final permits and so they're well on track to be moving into construction and production over the next 12 months. Um, another one of our key royalty properties, the, the Bowden Silver Project, which is actually the largest silver um, project in all of Australia. Um, it has over 275 million, million with an M, um, ounces of, of silver in the ground. Um, they just announced some, some of the highest grade drilling results they've ever announced. And they've hit so much high grade silver they're actually looking at an underground expansion. So that's that's pretty exciting. And then one of our other key uh, gold royalties in Nevada, um, uh, which is operated by a company called Gold Standard Ventures, um, they're just in the final stages uh, of completing a feasibility study uh, and then looking to move the project into construction. So just a huge amount of, of positive uh, developments on some of our key properties that will translate into substantial revenue growth for our shareholders over the coming quarters and, and years. Wow. Congratulations on all of your success. And it seems like every time we speak with you guys, there's more big breaking news and more amazing projects. Now, speaking on some of the news that's coming out, your Sigil Ola Gold Royalty in Nigeria just started paying this week. Why is this noteworthy? Sure. And so our Sigil Ola uh, Gold Royalty was acquired, Rich, back in um, uh, 2020. So we acquired that gold royalty for about $900,000. Um, and the significance of this, of this milestone, as you mentioned, of getting first royalty uh, revenue um, uh, earlier this week, it's really, you know, when a royalty starts paying, that's, you know, obviously when you can take it to the bank and that's when you start, you know, harvesting those returns. But for this royalty investment in particular, um, you know, we believe that based on the operator's guidance, uh, Vox shareholders are likely to make five times um, uh, on their money, their original investment, over a matter of only three years. So to recoup five times your investment in three years on an investment, um, you know, that's pretty attractive returns. If we, could, if we could Frankenstein that and just clone that investment, we'd do that, you know, every week of the year. Um, so pretty excited to start seeing uh, cash flow flowing from that, uh, that gold royalty. Wow, that seems like an incredible return for investors. And that is really exciting. How are royalty companies performing during these inflationary times? 
Yeah, it's it's a great question, Rich. Um, I mean, I, I can I can tell you firsthand. I'm uh, I'm planning a, a wedding in California at the moment for later this year, and so if any unfortunate soul is getting hit with inflation, it's uh, it's this guy, unfortunately. Um, particularly when it's wedding costs it only seem to be going up higher and higher. Anyway, I'll stop sobbing about my wedding costs. Um, I guess royalty companies typically can like significantly outperform during in high inf- high inflation periods. So as commodity prices rise, um, obviously you know the miners start to sell their their underlying metal for more money. And given royalty companies such as Vox, we're typically getting a percentage of revenue. Likewise, our revenues start to increase. So investors get all that upside linked to inflation without any of the cost pressures that that inflation typically creates for a miner. So inflation causes royalty companies, their margins to expand um, because we're not paying operating costs to operate the mine. Um, And so it's royalty companies are probably the single greatest um, yielding investment in high inflation periods. You get this huge multiplier effect um, as commodity prices increase. So that's been historically sort of well documented and we're certainly seeing that today with, as commodity prices continue to rise. It's another reason why I ever believe everybody that is watching needs to put Vox royalties on their radar, on their watch list, VOX in Canada, VOXCF in America. And the next thing I was going to ask you is, can you tell us a little bit about the ongoing industry consolidation in the royalty industry? including Gold Royalty Corp's Christmas present hostile bid for Elemental on December 20th. How does this impact Vox? Yeah, so it's a good way of of phrasing it, Rich. A a hostile takeover bid launched on the 21st of December is always a little bit of a rude Christmas present for any any company. Um, Look, I think a lot of of people in the mining industry have been talking about uh, consolidation in the royalty industry for some time. Um, and in the last 12 months alone, there's been three separate uh, junior royalty companies that have been acquired. Um, and then, as you touched on, a fourth one um, that uh, has received a hostile takeover offer. So everyone's talking mergers and acquisitions in our industry. And, you know, I think acquirers are looking for companies very similar to Vox. So companies that have huge growing cash flows, such as what we have, um, and companies that have a huge amount of of upside linked to exploration success, similar to what we have with our 55 separate uh, mining royalties. So, um, you know, we're, I guess, quietly confident that we're stacking up uh, fairly high on a few different people's um, watch lists from a, a consolidation perspective. But I think the good thing for us is, you know, we don't, we don't, we're not forced to do any sort of transaction with anyone. If someone knocks on our door and makes us an unbelievable takeover offer, um, we'll obviously consider it particularly because we as management, we own 15% of the company. So we're fully aligned with shareholders if, if that takeover offer does, does come, come a knocking. Now here at Rich TV Live, we love to kind of get a feel for what's coming. So what is coming up for Vox over the coming quarters? And what are the key catalysts to look out for for investors and shareholders? So Rich, last year was already a complete record year for Vox in all the areas that matter. We had... Yeah, record revenues. We had record growth in terms of the number of producing royalty properties. We, we've gone from one producing royalty to five, and then that's set to increase organically from five to 10 over the coming uh, uh, 18 months. Uh, so a huge amount of, of growth that, that we've already delivered on and that is still yet to come. So as we look ahead over the coming quarters, um, we've got a huge number of really exciting milestones coming up. We've got um, three different operations that we have royalties over that we expect will be moved into production later this year. Um, We've got a number of different feasibility studies um, and engineering studies that are coming out over the next few months that will then help those projects move forward into production over the next two years. Um, And then last year, we had record volumes of drilling that our our partner um, operators paid for. We had over 170,000 metres of drilling and this year, we think we may even crack 200,000 metres of, of partner-funded drilling on our royalty properties, which means for Vox shareholders, more discoveries, more, more future potential mines, and more future potential uh, royalty revenue that drops through the bottom line. So in short, we think we're on track for a, for a potential record year again in 2022, uh, Rich. 
Wow, congratulations on all of your success in 2021. And we know that 2022 is stacking up to be a huge year. Thank you so much for joining us, the Chief Investment Officer, Spencer Cole of Vox Royalties. And I must remind everybody that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, I still believe that this is a company that is greatly undervalued, underappreciated, and underexposed. And thank you for joining us today and telling the world your story and why you believe this is a company that everyone should be aware of, the Chief Investment Officer. Thank you for joining us today, Spencer Cole. And I wish you the best of luck on your future wedding. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Rich. I, uh, it's been a pleasure being with you today. Hey, always a pleasure. Congratulations on all your success. And for those of you guys that are watching, if you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners and we bring them to you first. Put Vox Royalty on your radar, on your watch list, VOX in Canada, VOXCF in America. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe. This is Rich from Rich TV Live saying, have a nice day with the Chief Investment Officer of Vox Royalty, Spencer Cole. We'll see you again soon, Spencer, and we'll see you guys soon. Have a nice day, everybody. Thank you.